Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Training on SAP Business Technology Platform with anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode, we talked about the core concept of SAP Cloud Connector. I have first explained the purpose of what is Cloud Connector and why do we need it to bypass the firewall of our company. And then I have discussed about setting up a handshake between our SAP BTP to Cloud Connector and SAP Cloud Connector to our company SAP S4 HANA system. In our today's session, we are going to proceed further and we are going to look at the concept of utilizing Anubo Training S4 HANA server to actually connect to one of the standard S4 HANA API. Now, coming back to click on create a new action project and use here my destination from SAP S4 HANA system. So we can use that and it shows me now my S4 HANA system destination. And then I can pass the resource path. What is the resource path? It is the path prefix of our API till business partner API. Yeah, this part only is called resource path. So we will pass the resource path. Don't give the whole thing. Just give up to API name from slash SAP. Click on next button. It is now analyzing, calling, and it has fetched everything. Wow, look at that. So now, what you want to enable? Yes, what are the operations? So we are only interested to get the business partner data. So we say, retrieve the business partner general data. Yes, so I click on that. Okay, this is, it is just showing what it is allowing. So I have to choose now my operation next. So it creates an action project, create. And next step would be to proceed further and use this. So now my action project is created. So let's go inside the action project. We can see the version, it's editable and this is the project. So let's now go inside the project. And we are going to test one of the action to retrieve business partner data. So these are the different entity sets what we have in the standard API provided by SAP. We are going to choose as always the A business partner API endpoint. I will enable the get call of the business partner and I will also enable the update call and also enable the call to create a fresh business partner from scratch. These are the calls I am enabling because in the future I can use post also. So I just enable it now itself. So I can just come down, see the call where I can create a business partner. Yeah, these are the post calls. So I will do it, the post calls along with the address. In the future I can do that. In fact, I've done it. Patch, post and let me do the get also. Get of business partner. So let me come down. So we just see the get call for business partner data. Alone business partner only. I don't want other data. Here it is, get call. Yeah, this is the one. So I click on add button. So there's just three methods are added and we will just test the get call. So in this get call, we can just pass uh, these parameters like filter, skip top order by all this information if you want to and then we can see the output data format this is the format of output data and then of course we can additionally set more properties like dollar select edit and then i can just pass the value of dollar select here you see so what are the properties we were using we were using business partner partner name and category and created by four properties so let's choose them business partner, name, business partner ID, who is the creator and what is the business partner category. So this I have added now to my action. So that is the, that is the information we can add. I also just add the value of top. I'm only interested to get top 10 business partners, for example. Yes. Now I save the call. And then I will just check the testing. 
so we will use our sap s4 hana destination to test this call against the business partner actually so i can come back and click on test now so this would now go back to make a call to backend and wahala look at that it is producing the exact data what we got in the postman tool so that becomes our um, our response so that is how we create our action project in build yes now we can release this because we want to reuse it later on in build apps so we have to release and i can say sap standard data from s4 hana business part i release and then we are going to publish because until you not publish it cannot be reused in other components so it is now published